Okay, here is my little workstation thing. It's a little bit of a mess, I know, but um, I'm gonna work. I'll work on it a little bit. All right, so I got this uh, mount thing <coughs> um, that I from an old telescope, and this is just a doohickey I made. That's where the telescope thing sits on. And I found a uh, hole cutter that just about fit that. Uh, just a, just about fit the outside diameter of that. So I use this, and it, it works pretty good. Okay. So this is just gonna be the introduction video. We're not gonna get too much. I'm not gonna get anything done today. Just explaining some stuff. Um. So this. Um, I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna do some um, uh, oh my god hopefully I'm gonna do some uh, product reviews unboxings um, doing some uh, soldering um, I'm gonna do some breadboarding which I don't have right down down here right now it's up in my room um, We'll try to make some stuff. Um, so for a setup here, um, I've got this. Hang on a sec. I've got this little arm thing here. Let me see it. But I was originally planning on filming with my iPod Touch. This is just a dummy one, of course. Obviously, it came with the case, so I use it just to test fit everything because it's about the same di or dimensions as an iPod Touch. Um, so I just had this mounted up here, and you could just angle it down and adjust it however I wanted. But it's not secure yet. Uh, that's what I had these things. That's what I had these clamps for. But I'm still working on it, adjusting it. And plus, my iPod was out of memory from other filmings and stuff and pictures. I've got a lot of pictures on that. Um, so eventually, I'm gonna have to back all that up and restore it. So there's nothing else on it. And then maybe, we'll, and then maybe we'll film with the uh, this thing. Okay. So, oh, and another thing I built was now. Uh, oh, this wood table thing I built just to protect this table um, especially from like molten solder and stuff and the drill um, where I've already marked it a little bit with a drill bit and it's been burnt a couple times accidentally from the soldering iron um, I also built this thing which is basically a mini version of this sort of it just um, this, this is what I originally originally used, and then my dad had some shelf shelving built. Um, and he, this is all, so this is scrap. Um, I got a hole drilled there because I previously had it on like a piano stand, and there was a bucket under here or a bag or something under there, and I could just brush all the dirt and stuff into the garbage. Um, so, kind of like a disposable paper disp uh, waste thing. Anyway, in these holes here, I made, drilled out for, um, originally what I had in mind was having, like, soldering iron or something, and taking the cords and running them down there and out the back. Um, I didn't get that far yet, so I might do that, or I might just run everything off of the power cord, I don't know, jump on it, but yeah, it goes to the splitter, and there, I don't know if you can see this, there's a wire there, that runs up behind the table, into this little light box, which, there's a cord that goes up to that light, now, that, those 2x4s there, I built 
um, they're not screwed into the thing. They're just, so I can just wiggle this back and forth. Hopefully it doesn't fall. As long as I don't bump it, it should be fine. But, yeah, I built this because there's no switch on the light, so if I wanted to turn it on, I'd have to plug it in to turn it off. I'd have to unplug it, and that got to be a pain. So I just built this little switch here, and it works pretty nice. Okay. Um, next video will be just stuff I've already made and some stuff that I'm working on. Uh, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.